Alright, so there's the preamp tube. Suffice it to say I've not looked at those yet, but I'm not hopeful. Um, there is another one right down there. It seems fairly intact, but again, looks can be deceiving. Now, as I rotate this back, we will see there, it's just hanging. Uh, on the top, we have uh, some kind of discoloration here, a an indentation right there, which I'll see from the front. There's the big one. Something huge must have hit the top of this to cause that kind of a indentation in the top. As we rotate around, I don't know if this was part of the amp before it was sent. It does look a little suspect. And as we see in the front, all this lovely styrofoam packing does not want to come out because styrofoam has an ionic attraction to metal. So it's trying to, it's a lot like pulling off tape. Okay, uh, as we go along the top, there's the indentation. It's quite big. You can see it's pretty much the whole length of the wood there, completely compromised. Uh, there's a big scratch right there. Uh, as far as the front is concerned, there's another spot down here and another spot right there and pretty much tears in the Tolex consistently on the side here as we go up. There's one, two, and I think that's it from there. Uh, another thing to note is there's a nice little indentation right there which came from, I'm guessing would be the speaker uh, because it was pressed up against the styrofoam pretty much made a mark in the speaker grill. So, that's pretty much the extent of damage to the exterior. Now, what's interesting is, you'll notice, as I kind of do this back and forth, uh, there's a screw move, moving around in here. Can't quite find it yet, but the reason why I've taken these screws off, so I can pull this off, is to show you that we have a problem with the reverb tank. Which is another reason why probably not a good idea to use styrofoam packing because you can see very clearly any spaces will fill up with styrofoam packing. So there is a screw right here which appears to be coming out uh, one here that is completely out. There's one in the back that's still in, but the other one here is completely gone. So, that is the extent of the internal damage that I can see. I'm a little reticent to turn this on. The next video will be, in fact, turning it on. Hopefully I can find the remaining screws, but this should give you an idea of how Bad packaging results in damage to a perfectly usable amp. Let this be a lesson to people.